Why are people getting so worked up over three goalless games from Mbappe? I really don't get it. As far as I can see, all I see is a man who has a great chance of breaking Messi and Ronaldo's scoring records. If you look at his non-penalty XG and the fact that he has three big chances already in three games, his scoring threat is already pretty good. He has 0.61 non-penalty goal XG over three La Liga games. And this is despite the fact that he has horrible team chemistry with the rest of the team because he's barely ever played with them before. Like most of the other starters at Real Madrid, they all didn't have much preseason. And so team chemistry is clearly lacking. And he's clearly lacking match fitness because, you know, he's coming into a new system, he's getting used to a new role. And he, again, he didn't have much preseason. So given the circumstances, this is very good scoring threat. Sure, there are some chances that he should have scored that he didn't. But over a large sample size, he always overperforms his XG. This has been confirmed again and again. And Mbappe is one of the most elite finishers in the world. The biggest problem for strikers and attackers in general is when they're not having any scoring chances. Because if you don't have good scoring chances, the odds of scoring lots of goals is very minimal. But Mbappe is having good scoring chances. Having good scoring chances, but not converting, is far better than having no scoring chances at all. Because if you have your scoring chances and you're not converting, that could just mean a poor run of form. And that's just what's going on with Mbappe right now. He's had great scoring chances, he hasn't converted them, but as long as these great scoring chances keep coming in, he's going to be scoring lots and lots and lots of goals. If you look at his non-penalty goal XG, it's already very comparable to a lot of previous PSG seasons. In most seasons at PSG, he had a non-penalty XG per 90 minutes of 0.6 to 0.7. Right now, he has a non-penalty XG of 0.61, and that will only increase as the front line builds chemistry, as his form improves, as his understanding with other Madrid attackers like Rodrigo and Vinicius improves. I mean, people who are going after him not only have zero ball knowledge, they don't even have basic mathematical literacy. Like seriously, if you think that it's a big issue for one of the biggest XG overperformers in football to miss a couple of chances and not score in three games, then seriously, you need to retake your primary school math. Seriously, anyone with basic fifth grade math knowledge should know that this isn't an issue. Mbappe will score 50, 60 goals this season. He's going to be scoring at a higher rate than at PSG because he has a better team now. He's going to have higher scoring threat. He's going to have more chances. And when he finds his form, he's going to convert them at an elite rate. You have to be absolutely out of your mind to not think that this is the most realistic possibility. The only thing that these past three games have told me is that the average football fan is brainless. They're reactionary. They'd rather get angry rather than assessing the situation. Please, don't be clueless. Attacking Mbappe and getting so worked up over three games only makes you look very, very stupid.